All right, if you are having trouble in Logos for Mac, uh, the alpha crashes, I'll show you quickly how to do your logging. In the Logos forums, you'll find a post that describes how to report uh, bugs and errors. And what you want to do is you want to download this file, and it's the nlog.config file. Then you can open it here in your, in your uh, finder. And then what you need to do is you need to rename this file to take out the numbers. All it should say is nlog.config. Okay, so rename that file. Okay, step two, I want to show you how to uh, prepare your logs, get them ready for submission. So the first thing you need to do, this will make your life a lot easier through the alpha and beta process because you need to make reports frequently. So instead of having to navigate here all the time, I want you to click and drag onto your logging folder and bring it over here to the dock and you'll just drop it on there. Now Logos will keep that there so every time you need them you just come here. So that's the easiest first step. Now what I want you to do is click on that folder and you can click on the Logos for log. This by the way gives you uh, shows you whenever you are indexing or downloading this will give you all the information you can kind of see what's happening behind the scenes if you like but what you need to do now is navigate to the top where it says console messages if you don't see this you click on this little icon here and that'll show or hide that so once you have console messages hit file save as save a copy as and save it to your desktop with the default name right there. Okay. Now you see over here, uh, it created that file right over there. All right. Now, once you do this, you can close this console manager. You don't need that anymore. Once you have saved your console log to the desktop, you can come in back to your log folder, which again is pinned to the side. If for some reason, let me show you, for example, if that happens to be closed and you need it back, you click where it says logging and then click on the arrow opens it up right to the log folder then what you want to do is you want to drag your console log right back in to this folder and let me show you quickly why because what we're going to do to prepare finish preparing it to upload and report is that you are going to click uh, and select all three of those log files then you're going to right click and then you need to hit compress three items and what this will do is create an archive All right so this archive zip file you can then take and just for convenience drag it back to your desktop and then it'll be conveniently there whenever you're ready to upload and make your log report once you're ready to make your report you want to come over here to the dock and I'm going to open up Safari where I've got the page already bookmarked along the top and you want to click on write a new post. In my case I just had a crash so I prefer to put the current version which in this case is alpha 6 and then I'll put a short description of what actually happened put crash during shutdown and then I want to put in a little description to let the developers know what was happening. In this case uh, step one, I was running a passage guide on Romans 7. Step two, during, uh, I should say, while passage guide was running, I attempted to close Lagos. And the third thing was it just simply crashed and had to force quit okay and that's what I did and now I will attach the logs you go right here to the little pin button the little close pin choose file saved it to your desktop saves you from having to navigate to another subfolder hit choose and then insert and once you insert you just go down hit post and that's it there you go. That's how you do a bug report.